to another tech tip brought to you by Digital Dimensions. My name is Maurice Cherian. I'm an application engineer here at Digital Dimensions. Today we're going to be talking about very sketch patterns. It's a special case of a linear pattern. In this case I'm going to make a linear pattern of this extruded cut. And there is a challenge with that because we need to be able to follow the contours of that edge on the top there. So use an offset entity to set that and then the point 0.5 dimension is going to be the one that's going to set the direction. So you want to sketch so that the sketch can vary as the instances are created for the pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that with the sketch. You can see now the top of that edge there is using in this case an offset entity relationship. It could be a parallel or vertical relationship or a dimension too. So I'm going to go ahead and create a linear pattern and I'm going to show you if you didn't use this very sketch option what the geometry would look like. So usually you know you might pick an edge to set the direction instead of using the dimension. You can see by the preview it's not going to give you the correct geometry that you're looking for. It doesn't give you the desired results. So now I'm going to switch over and use the 0.5 dimension to set the direction. Now very sketch is not grayed out anymore. What I'm going to show you is that with the very sketch option, it's going to change the geometry for every instance of the pattern that's created. So now you can see it looks correct. So the first example was an offset entity was used to set the direction. This next example is going to be a circular cutout in this case still using a linear pattern but in this case we're going to set up the, the circular cut to use a linear dimension you can't use a radius or diameter dimension so what we do is I'll go into the sketch you can see that it has a linear dimension off the center line that drives the geometry and that's also going to set the direction so the pattern is going to use the dimension again to set the direction and then I turn on very sketch. If very sketch is not turned on, you can see what the results would look like from the preview. In this case, I'm going to use very sketch, and now you can see the geometry was the desired result. And the third example is going to be another one where the splines are going to be used for offset entities inside the cut. And again, you want to make it so that the sketch can handle changes. In this case, you can see how the, the two outside edges are going to follow the contours of the spline. So you can see what it looks like when I vary that. Now, in this case, the pattern, again, we're going to use the dimension. In this case, that dimension on the top sets the direction. I use the very sketch option, and then you can see what it's going to look like. So that's the third example. Of the so the final example here, I wanted to show you that you can use a circular pattern in conjunction with a very sketch linear pattern. So I'm going to go and just show you a little bit of the sketch so you can see how the sketch was set up to create this geometry. So there was some center lines used. The center lines were, were used to create a tangent relationship with the arcs here on the ends so that the geometry would go with the flow there and change. So you can see the 0.4 dimension there as it varies. So each segment will change in each instance of the pattern. So you want to make sure that the geometry grows the way it should in this case. So the pattern again is going to be a very sketch pattern. In this case we use the dimension to set the direction and you can see what it's going to look like. And now we're going to take that and we'll turn that that linear pattern into a circular pattern to finish this up. In this case I usually use six instances but you can use five or six here. You can see what it looks like with both of those options. So that was using a circular pattern to finish it off. Thanks for viewing this video tech tip brought to you by Digital Dimensions. Please visit us at www.dvicad.com.